Can't hear me then. It's Saturday, the 5th of March, 2016. Welcome along to a very, very long time apart, haven't we? Yes, it's United Kingdom Talk live show on a Saturday night. So why am I here on a Saturday night? No work tonight, gang. No work. Now, basically, I've got off every other um, uh, Saturday now. OK, and I'm kind of looking looking to do something on a Saturday night. And I thought I'd try this tonight. Now, we're, we're actually going out two different methods tonight. And I'm, I'm not quite sure they, how well they both work together. So we're going out live on YouTube on the YouTube. Now, if you watch on YouTube, you'll get the widescreen. OK, um, should be super high quality. And but you won't see any messages coming up. If you're watching on Facebook Live, you'll both be able to see a smaller picture, but you'll be able to see all the messages and contact me directly that way. And already I see Wayney and Callum's uh, there and uh, Ash is there as well. So take your pick. Either watch on YouTube with the full picture like that, but you can't see the messages, or watch via the Facebook Live uh, where you can see all the messages and uh, 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 communicate directly, all right? Good evening, Martin. Martin, you left a bit early last night. Were you a little bit bored last night, Martin? I get, I get the impression there might have been a few bored people in there last night. I don't know why. I was doing this karaoke night last night, and it's usually actually quite busy. Um, but uh, uh, last night, it wasn't, wasn't too busy last night. And good afternoon, good, good evening to Gary Butler. Nephew Gary Butler is with us as well. Uh, if I can explain, I've actually got three cameras in front of me. There's one at the top, which is recording everything. There's one in the middle there, which is the YouTube camera. And there's a little one down here, which is the Facebook camera. And uh, that's all how, how it all works, OK? So if you'd like to join in tonight, lots of ways you can do that, boys and girls. You can either, if you're watching on the Facebook, you can send a little message directly onto the side of the screen there. And if I miss it, I'll be scrolling up and down. So don't worry too much if I don't uh, uh, reply to you straight away. Hello, Kim, up in Woodall Spa. Uh, you can also send an email. My email address is chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk, right? Chris at United Kingdom talk.co.uk uh, now craig has already sent me a message and he says he's where's the message gone now i've lost that now oh there it is oh there i found your message i found your message craig i'm very pleased to say and good afternoon to vectis who says i'm free i'm free now it's funny you should say that vectis it's very funny you should say that because uh, a very good friend of mine darren Litton. OK, he's the guy who writes Benidorm. Do you like Benidorm? Oh, Alan Butcher's there. Alan Butcher, who I was with the Cub Scouts. And I, I've got a story about Alan Butcher. Now, you're probably wondering, Alan, which story I'm about to tell you. OK, but let's just take this call first. We've got a call coming in already. Good evening. Who is on line two? Th oh, no, they've hung up already. <laughs> that was great. I think people get scared. I think people get scared. They ring in, they ring in, and then then they just suddenly disappear. I don't know why that is. <laughs> Got to say hi to Haley, Lee, Chloe, and uh, is it Karki? How do I say that? Is it Karki? Hello to Wendy. Hello Ben. Nice to see you, Ben. I haven't seen you for ages. Must be a couple of years now. He's up in Woodall Spa as well. Now where was I? Forgot what we're saying now. Um. Where was I now? Oh, I can't remember now. Someone was calling in. What was I about to say before someone was... Oh, yes, Alan Butcher. I must tell you, now, Alan Butcher, who's watching at the moment, uh, he, he and I were in the Scouts, OK? And I never forget, we were both... I think I was 18, and I think he's a little bit younger than me. I think he was 16, or maybe 16 and 14 even. And we were on this patrol camp in a place called Walton Furs, which is in Cobham in Surrey. And I never forget this. And we were on our own. There was me, him, and I think three others. There was Tim Crookshank, possibly Philip Thompson, Charlie Cooper. I think we're, and maybe another couple of others on this particular campfire, uh, campsite. Now, in years gone by, when I was a child, well... About 14, 24, 34, 40, 
About 39 years ago, God, yes, it really is that long. 39 years ago, you could go on camps and there wouldn't be too many forms to fill in and this, that and the other, you know, worrying about health and safety and things like that, okay? And on this particular campsite was uh, a big wood pile. All scout campsites had big wood piles, which you could use to build your scout campfire, okay? And this wood pile, I mean, I don't know why there weren't many people um, hurt on this thing, but it was full of off cuttings from coffins. Yes, indeed. Off <laughs> cuttings, all right? Off cuts from coffins because it all came from a funeral parlour. But quite a lot of this wood would have like six inch nails through it, you know, and you, we'd be climbing on these things in plimp soles. There were no trainers then, it was just plimp soles and shoes and we all had plimp soles on i don't know why people didn't end up with six inch nails for their feet anyway that's neither here nor there so one night we're all sitting around this campfire smoking cigarettes you know as you do when mums and dads aren't around and the fire is lit and we're quite close to the fire playing cards you know i, don't, I can't remember what game we were playing it was dead lucky. Yeah, Vectis, you're absolutely right. While well, none of us got uh, feet damaged. And I said, do you know, I can smell some burning. And then, of course, they're saying, no, it must be the fire. Yeah, OK, fair enough. It's the fire. Oh, I can dip. It's a, it's a different smell. It doesn't smell like the, the fire. And Alan was sitting there. Alan, who's I think he's still with us at the moment. And we're looking around, you know, is it is it one of the cigarettes? No, no, it's not a cigarette smell, not a cigarette smell. And we're going around the fire and we're looking now everywhere. And suddenly we looked under this 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 table that we'd built under bits uh, out of bits of wood. And Alan, the bottom of Alan's trousers were on fire. It's true. I'll never forget it. I think he had, if I remember rightly, he had a pair of black corduroy trousers on. Because on Scout Camp, it didn't matter what you looked like. You know, not like the youngsters of today who worry, who worry so much on how bad, how good they look. My nephew's the same, Jimmy. He goes out. He has to be as perfect as possible. If he's got a new event coming up, it's not good enough to wash an old shirt and iron it. No, nope, not good enough. He has to go out and buy a new one. That's my nephew. Yep. In those days, we didn't worry at Scout Camp. We had the oldest, rottenest clothes you can imagine. I mean, I still wear them now, to be honest. You want to see some? Let me go and get you something that I wear at home. Hang on a minute. Let me show I've got to show you this. One minute. Look at this old thing here. Look. Look, falling apart it is. I've got a few of those. <laughs> That's right, Kim. My nephew wears the skinny jeans. I look at these skinny jeans and I wish even my finger would get into one of the legs. No. How do people get into skinny jeans? I don't think I will ever, ever be able to get into skinny jeans. Anyway, we didn't worry about what we used to wear on this camp. And there, under the table... Burning away was the bottom of Alan Butcher's um, <laughs> trousers. Do you remember that, Alan, I wonder? When your trousers were on fire. <laughs> right, gang, you can join in at any time. If you have Skype, you can call me on Skype. My Skype username is, all one word, United Kingdom Talk. I don't wear flares, Ash. I do not wear flares. I used to wear flares, but not anymore. Hello, Scott. There's my little mate, Scott. Hello. Welcome to live at studio this evening, dear. You can contact us on the Skype United Kingdom talk. It's all one word. OK, or you can phone in. Now, bear in mind, if you use the Skype or phone in. Hello, Duke, Chris. If you use the Skype or phone in, I can only take one call at a time. It is actually possible for me to connect several at the same time, but it gets really messy when you're trying to talk to several people at the same time. So if I take a call, I can't take another one. So if, you know, if you, in, in the unusual situation that more than two people would possibly want to ring in tonight, bear in mind, I can only take 
one call at a time, boys and girls, OK? Now, the phone-in number is... Have you got your pen handy? Or is it on... Did I put it on the screen? I don't think I put it on the screen, did I? I put it on the YouTube. Hang on a minute. There it goes on the YouTube. All right. 20 8144 OK? 20 8144 That is the phone-in number. If you want to call in at any point about anything I'm talking about or indeed anything that you want to join in as well. OK, 020 8144 Hello to Jer Jerry. Says, good to see you back, Chris, on YouTube, watching on my 42 inch TV on your PlayStation. Is it is it quite good quality? Because yeah, I've never seen this little show on a. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Let me just edit that name there. You can't see that properly, can you? One second. Let's just uh, move that along a little bit. I think I can do that. Is that better? The phone number on your TV screen should have moved along a bit, little bit now. Yeah, I've never really seen it on one of those Panasonic. Is it quite good quality, is it? Because I don't know. Oh, and there's my niece, Tracy Clifford. Can you see? Tracy Clifford's arrived as well. And I've got something to show you that Tracy sent me for my birthday. Hello to Johnny Key. One of our karaoke regulars as well. This is lovely, isn't it? This is really nice, spending the Saturday night together like that. Well, so, Tracy recently bought me my birthday present, boys and girls, and it arrived today. That is exactly one month and one day after my birthday. However, it's the thought that counts. It is the thought that counts. <laughs> Duke, will, Duke says, will I meet my next husband on here? Duke... I'm here, mate. I'm here. I mean, surely you've been getting the signals from me. Can I show you this, what my niece bought me for my birthday? I'm a bit of a collector. Uh, I've started collecting ceramic tiles. OK, and you can generally get these on Amazon, um, other places like that. And they're not over expensive, but I love these. And she's bought me this. Look at this. Isn't that lovely? OK. So that's a picture of, I think they're yellow, yellow, I, I think they're yellow tulips. So she sent this to me and I, I, I hang them on the wall as pictures. Down in my living room downstairs, I've got a few different ones. Um, birds and cats and things like that. And they all hang on the wall. I've actually got some of these on my front wall as well, um, outside at the front. And I said to my best mate earlier, shall I just keep buying these and cover the entire front of my house and these sort of things. What do you reckon? Will that work? He said it would be awful. It would be like cladding because I like bright colours. I can't be doing going in an house, you know, where the walls are grey or magnolia. Oh, God. Now, my mum used to like magnolia. But I'm not a fan on plain colours. I like bright, standing out colours. Let me see another colour here that I can stat. So, so we've got the bright yellow, which is fantastic. Thank you very much, Tracy. Oh, by the way, can you see? I don't know if you can see those pictures. Are they a little bit far away? That's, um, that's uh, one of my great nephews. That's Harry there, great nephew niece. And uh, uh, great, sorry, great niece... Um, Evie, great niece Olivia, and above is great nephew uh, George, and great niece there. Can you see her, Emily? I don't, I don't know if you can see. They're a little bit too small. Those ones. I think I'm going to have to ask you for um, another uh, another picture, Tracy. Actually, one close up because they're not, they're not quite, um, quite doing it. Anyway, so that's what Tracy sent me. Now, Ash, why are you feeling sick? Don't you like these bright colours, eh? We've got to have bright colours. Here, check out my bat phone. Look at, look at the colour of this. Bright red. That is the colour of my hall. You want to, you know, you, know, you want to sit in, in a room with, with boring, bland colours, and it's entirely up to you. Don't worry about that. OK, Duke, uh, call in if you want. I can take your call. 20 please, Duke. Uh, I don't have a delay on here. I'm not going to lie to you. There is no delay. If you want to ring in and suddenly swear and bang the phone down, you'll probably get on. But you'll only do it once. And then I'll block you. So it's up to you, my darlings. Not that you would do such a thing, Duke. I'm sure you wouldn't. Um, Tracy, before you go, darling. Now, I have now bought 
Tracy's birthday present, which is on the 16th of March. Now, bear in mind, my birthday was on the 5th of February. I was 53. Okay. The present arrived today on the 6th of March. So, Tracy, as your birthday is on the um, 6th, uh, uh, 16th of March, expect your present to arrive on the 17th of April. Thank you very much. Hello, Duke. Are you there? Well, I am. How are you? Hello, Duke. All right. Well, that's working all right, isn't it? Are you there? Oh, could he not hear me? Maybe he couldn't hear me then. I don't know. Do you want to try that again? Well, I, I could hear you. Maybe you couldn't hear us. We might have to try that again. Juki, try that again, my friend. Yes, I'm not colour blind. No, Wayne. Why are you asking me if I'm colour blind? Did I say it was red or blue or anything like that? No, dear. No. No, I didn't put the phone down. You got cut off, mate. Try again, Duke. Uh, I don't know if I can call you. One second. I don't know if I've got any credit on it. <laughs> There's a little lesson to be learnt there. Let's see. Will that work? Oh, it might. Oh, no, it's asking me for credit. Oh, I haven't got any with me. No, try again, Duke. Let's try your phone call again, my friend, OK? 020 8144 What do I need a producer for? Good evening, Danny. Now, Danny is a black cab driver. And Danny and I have got something in common. We hate Uber drivers. I'm sick to death of driving down the road, being surrounded, and I mean surrounded, by Prius cars. And you know what drive Prius cars, don't you? Yes, Uber drivers. And they drive along at 20 mile an hour. They've got a little mobile phone stuck to their windscreens and they're driving with one hand, working the blooming mobile phone sat-nav thing with another hand. So what's all that about? Come on. We hate Uber drivers. Go away. Yes. Now, come on. Uh, Duke, are you going to ring in again? Because that didn't work the first time. Or anyone else? Do you want to try? Can someone try this? Actually, uh, Vectis, you're around, aren't you? Do you want to try this to check that that's, that is working? That, there's no reason why that shouldn't work. I think he just got cut off accidentally. 020 8144 uh, is the number there, OK? Um, I've been uh, uh, this morning... I went to take two chair, uh, what are they called? Not covers. Uh, you know, my sofa, my sofa, sofa throws, that's it. Sofa throws in for cleaning. Now, they've been on these settees for about about a year now. And uh, that, what what will charge your phone, darling? Oh, I'm missing messages here. I better, get, better go back a little bit. Um, that's it. No, Duke. No, nope, that's that's it. We're we're up on the messages, aren't they? We're up on, we're up on the messages. Um, I took these two sofa throws in. To uh, what's wrong with Barry? Don't you like the picture of Barry there, Trace? I think that's a lovely picture of Barry Manilow behind me. Nothing wrong with that. There are no bad pictures of Barry Manilow, Tracy. Please, there really are. Right, let's try this now. Uh. There we are. I'm not sure the phone thing's working. Uh, someone else try it. Someone else try this phone thing. Oh, that would be. That's a shame if that won't work at the same time as everything else. I don't see why not. Give us a call. 020-8144-3477. If you've got a... Someone's got a phone there. Someone give it a go, all right? Anyway, yeah. So I took these sofa throws down to the cleaners. They haven't been cleaned for about a year because I've just bought two new ones from Amazon. £17 each. You can't go wrong, dear. Although I must say two are not quite large enough. I'm going to need three. So I've ordered another one for 17 quid, which is a hell of a lot cheaper than the two I had downstairs. £100 each from John Lewis, dear. They're not as thick, no, admittedly. And the quality isn't probably quite as good as the John Lewis one. But blimey, you know, Difference in price, £100 for one or £17 for one. Anyway, so I took the old ones down the cleaner. How much? How much to, to, have two, to have one piece of material cleaned? 20 quid. 20 quid to clean one sofa throw. How is it 20 quid? 
That's what I want to know. It's a lot of money, isn't it? 20 quid to have one thing cleaned. That and the Ralph Lauren jacket I took in. You know that linen one I've got? You might have seen me wear it a few times on the show. Well, that linen one and what? Somehow, I don't know if it's been a while I've been hanging it up, right? But the buttons have kind of turned in like this, right? So whereas that's like that, it's, it's gone a little bit like that. And I've hung it up in the hope that it will... Um, oh, let, let's try this call now. Hello, who's calling? That looks like... Is that you, Tracy? I don't know No, it's Hayley. Oh, hello, Hayley. You all right? Yeah, who's that? Oh, that's working all right, and it's Chris. Oh, is it? Who else would it be, darling? There we are. <laughs> OK, I, di I didn't think it was working. Hello, Hayley. Hello. Would you like to explain, Hayley, who you are, my darling? I've got some other calls coming in now. Uh, I can only take one call at a time, uh, Millie, and unknown phone number. So I'll come to you after we've finished chatting away to the lovely Hayley. Go on, Hayley. All right, darling. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. What's the weather like up north? Up to north, to north. Raining. Oh, is it? Cold. I got caught in the hail today, Hayley. Yeah, there was hail here today as yeah. well. And the thing is, when you haven't got much hair on your head, it's enough bloody hurt. <laughs> it's not funny, dear. It was like someone put, someone was shooting an air pistol at me or something from my head. <laughs> Awful. Awful. Not... How's your children? You got children, have you? Yeah, two. Tell us how many children you got to the millions I've of got... people watching this programme at the moment. I've got two children... Oh, hang on, I've the got to turn you down a bit. The is Chloe, yep. and the youngest is Casey. Katie, the same name as my cat, dear. No, Casey. Oh, Casey. And Casey. that's K-A-C-I, is it? Yes, not khaki. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry about that. Casey, uh, Casey to me is... Um, oh, I see what you've got. Have you got your radio on at the moment, or the, or the, the wireless or something, isn't it? Yeah, on the... Um, iPad. Oh, right, OK. Just turn that down while we're chatting away to you, darling. How old are your children? Uh, Chloe's 12 next week and Casey's just turned three. And do they Four. behave themselves? Four. Do they behave themselves? Yeah, so, so. <laughs> do you have to whack them now and again? You know, because oh, there's no. a lot of people now, they say, they say that you shouldn't hit children at all. And all that no. business. You know, all you need to talk to them. Naughty steps. I'm sorry, you know, I think a good slap round the face now and again brings them all into <laughs> into line, don't you? <laughs> naughty step. <laughs> I used to get the cane at school. Oh god. I got the cane twice at school, you know, Hayley. Did you? Yes, I did. The I'm trouble is, after that, I started enjoying it, and I, I was asking to go down and be caned. I didn't get <laughs> it anymore after that. How disappointing. <laughs> Very disappointing. Some people do that as a job, you know. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, nice to talk to you, darling. I'm so pleased this is all working now. Yes. You have a lovely evening, and stay tuned. Goodbye. Tell our darling. Bye-bye, my love. Bye. Now, just to let you know, gang, um, if you're watching on Facebook Live... I can only do half an hour at a time, OK? So once that half an hour is finished, it will stop and I have to restart it. But don't go anywhere, because if we carry on longer than half hour, which I think we're going to do, um, I'll just restart it again and it will come up, come up again at the top of Facebook and you just click on and rejoin, because it only allows us to do half an hour at a time, OK? If you're watching on YouTube, it just carries on. All right, for uh, as long as I want to do it. So there we are. Uh, some more messages coming in. Let's say hello to uh, Tracy Clifford says, Barry Manilow looks constipated in his picture now. Can you see? Do you think so? Well, you Actually, <laughs> he hasn't got the same problem as I had a few weeks ago, has he? <laughs> you know they want to shove a camera up me, don't you? Oh, my God, yes. They want to shove a camera up me to have a look. I'm waiting for the phone call. Private hospital. Oh, yes. Yes. The hospital rang me up to say there was a long queue of people waiting. Well, I hope they don't all use the same pipe. Oh, God. Do they clean it in between people? I do hope so. I can't think of anything worse. <laughs> Who's calling on the line now? Hello? Hello? No one. 
Someone, someone keeps calling and putting the phone down. Millie, I'm ready for you now, darling. I'm ready for you, Millie, if you want to call in. Yes, I do hope they use um, a, a, a different uh, a different thing. Actually, we might be able to call Millie ourselves because she's on the Skype. I must sort some, some credit Hi. up on there. Hello, Millie. How are you? I'm hanging in there all right. Oh, are you a little bit easy. quiet, darling? You all right? Oh, it's it hasn't been easy. For those who don't know, I I just lost my mother to cancer about two weeks ago. Um, yeah, so it's been a it's been a it's been hard. Yeah, you are having a, a hard time at the moment. Hello, Millie. Oh, we've lost her again. I, I think this Skype isn't working too well today. No, I, I can't see this Skype is working very well at all today. Um, I think we just have to do it by phone, okay? So if you've got a phone, we'll do it by phone, 020-8144-3477. But uh, not on the Skype. That Skype is just not working at all today, is it? Anyway, not to worry. Uh, some of the uh, other messages coming through. Uh, Wayne e says, £20. I'm clearly in the wrong business. Oh, yeah, £20 each, Wayne e. £20 each? I took two in, dear. 40 quid. 40 quid to, t to to clean two items and the jacket, which was about, I can't remember, that was about eight pounds or something like that. Shocking. Shocking. Uh, hello to Paul this evening. Good evening, Paul. Nice to see you. Hope you and your lady are OK. Uh, Danny says Chris is still kicking the old girl. Who's the old girl? <laughs> Hello to Mary. Uh, Tom is with us as well. Hello, Tommy. Nice to see you. And uh, Wayne, says they are waiting to watch you, Chris. Who's waiting to watch? There's no one waiting to watch, dear. And hello to Matthew as well, who does his own um, uh, shows as well. Hello to uh, uh, Matt Joplin. Good afternoon. Uh, good evening, rather, to Matt Joplin, OK? 020-8144-3477. 020-8144-3477 is uh, the number. So after I, I was shocked and horrified at paying 40 quid to clean two items, which I thought was a little bit too much, um, I then went down to Waitrose, boys and girls, the preferred supermarket of United Kingdom Talk. And that was with its problems as well today. That was with its problems. First of all, I got into Waitrose, boys and girls, and I went, hello to Callum who says you need to pay a bit more attention for your internet. Stop being so tight. What do you mean? A bit more attention for my internet. What does that mean? <laughs> a bit more attention for my internet. I'm not following that, Callum. Please explain, sir, what you mean by that. A bit. You need to pay a bit more attention, a bit more for your internet. Why do I need to pay more for the internet? This is, I have 150 meg here, I have, you know, shortly to be 200 meg. It just gets faster and faster, doesn't it? Unlike being served at some of the pubs I work in. Christ, they're slow, some of them, I tell you. Anyway, as I was saying, other supermarkets are available. No, it's not the BBC, Danny. We don't have to say that old rubbish. Other supermarkets and minicabs are available. I didn't think you'd like that one. <laughs> the queue of people waiting for the camera... The camera op are waiting to watch you have it done. Oh, I see. The camera. Well, it's not an operation. It's a procedure. A procedure. Yeah. So they got this long camera. It's on a lot on, on the tube, I think. And they push it up. Yeah. They push it up. you like that. And they watch on a screen. I hope they allow me to watch it on the screen at the same time. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? ha. <laughs> Do you think they'll allow me to watch it at the same time or not? It's a bit of a worry, really, isn't it? Anyway, if you're watching on Facebook, uh, I've got to restart that now. OK, so I'm going to disappear. Those of you on YouTube, stay right there. I've got to reset the um, uh, the uh, 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 Facebook and we'll come straight back on there within a couple of minutes. OK, so stay right there, boys and girls. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Da, 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 da. Right, we'll start this back on Facebook. Let's have a look there. I wonder if they'll um, actually allow us to do longer than half hour on, on here. I hope they do at some point. And uh, that's it. We'll go back there. Back like that. It's uh, 
There we are. Three seconds, two, one. Hello, and you're back in the room. <laughs> That's a bit of a pain, actually, having to having to restart the whole Facebook thing every every half an hour. I do hope they'll uh, they sort that out. Perhaps they don't. Perhaps um, I suppose when you think about it. You know, some people could leave the phone on all the time, I suppose, and they, they don't want that. Otherwise, there won't be enough room for uh, uh, other people to do that, will they? Anyway, now, where was I? Oh, yes. So I went down to Waitrose, and that was with its own problems today. Yes, we're back in a room. So, first of all, I went over to the self-scanning thing. Now, when you go in Waitrose, right, and I think some of the Tesco's do it as well, there's like a couple of boards as you come into the supermarket and there's lots of these little scanning devices in this board right and a little thing hello tommy tommy flynn is in the house hello tommy hello tommy um uh, uh so so you you slide your your card through okay and then it says a couple of says and it says welcome back mr reardon Please select your scanning unit or something like that. OK, and then all these scanning and one of them will light up. Bing! It lights up, boys and girls. And you pull it out and then you start going around your shopping. So you pick an item out, you scan it with your thing, beep, beep, and then you put it in your bag. It's ever so easy, ever so easy. No, Ash, I'm a well-respected member of Waitrose. They trust me in there to scan my shopping and not go thieving, which you probably do in Lidl or Audi or somewhere like that, don't you, Ash? Oh, yeah, I bet you're well, I bet you're probably, you're probably actually, um, you know, barred from supermarkets in your area, aren't you, Ash? You know, going around nicking bits and pieces all the time. Yes, I can imagine that. Yes, well known in the area that you live. God's sake. Anyway, so that's how it all works, right? So I've put my card through, already noticing that there are only about four units in this big thing. And I thought it was busy in there because it took me ages to find a car parking space today. Usually I'll actually cycle down to Waitrose. But what I, I wanted to do something different today on my night off. And I wanted to do some cooking. Um, so I'd gone in there for ingredients plus other stuff, you see. Anyway, I scanned it and a message has come up on the screen. Please seek assistance. And I thought, oh, right. OK, so I then went over. Wait, I couldn't believe I was horrified when they said this. to me. Oh, I don't even know if I should tell you now. I mean, quite frankly, it's embarrassing. Who's been accused of... T Ash has probably been stealing. Ash, Ash steals in Little and Audi. I reckon that's, that's right, Shania. Anyway, so uh, I've got to the uh, customer services desk and the usual lady isn't there. However, another lady's there who is always is also quite nice and pleasant. Oh, hello. Uh, I've just uh, had a little message on there. Seek customer assistance or something. I can't remember what it says now. Go to customer services for assistance. She says, all right, can I have your card, please? So she swiped this through. She said, oh, I'll, I'll try that again. Swiped it through again. She said, oh, it's come up as incomplete transaction. Incomplete transaction. I said, well, what does that mean? I, I haven't transacted anything yet. It's not giving me a little thing. I said, there's only four over there. She said, just a minute. So, she, so she's pushing some buttons on this desk. Seek assistance. That's it. Seek assistance. That's it. Thank you, Ash. Pushing buttons on. She said, oh, she said three of those are out of order, but the other one should be all right. I'll try and release it for you. So she's pushing these buttons again. She said, oh, no, this isn't happening. Just a minute. I'll call the manager. The manager in our particular uh, waitrose is Danny. We're all on. F oh, they're all on first name terms me there, dear. Oh, yes, there's Danny. He's the manager. There's um, Michelle. Michelle is my favourite member of the staff. She sits on the uh, checkout, which is for the scanning people. But she wasn't in today. And she's got like a, a square haircut. We love Michelle. Often she's sitting there. Do oh, hello. Actually, she's a bit like this. You know, have I got something that looks like a... A file. Let's use this man tool, this screwdriver. Look at this, chaps. Look, a man tool. Look. So she's sitting there. Oh, hello, how are you? 
Oh, there be funny customers in here today. And I went in on a Sunday once, and she said to me, "What are you?" Do? And she, you know, always doing the nails. And oh, what are you doing here on a Sunday? They're horrible people in here on a Sunday. I said, "What the stuff?" No, the customers. She said, "Just look at them." <laughs> she's like, she's fantastic. We love Michelle. She's so friendly. She really is. And who else? Uh, there's. I can never remember her name. I think it's Julie. She's on the front desk. And then there's Jackie. She's on the front desk. But Danny is the big manager. Manager of the shop. So he comes mincing... I beg your pardon. He comes walking over to the Sainsbury's. Hello, sir. What's the, what's the problem with this? Oh, his card's saying incomplete transaction. Right? He said, oh, right. He said, um... Have you done any shopping recently and, and it's not gone through properly? I said, well, yes. Funnily enough, I said, yes. I was in Wokingham on Wednesday. And when I tried to scan my blueberries, it came up. Will you shut up a minute, Ash? I'm telling a bloody story. Hello, Stacey. Everyone's with us live. I love all this live stuff. Uh, so um, I said, I've been to the Wokingham branch on, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday. I can't remember because I go there to have my hair cut usually in Wokingham. Uh, they've got one of those Turkish, I don't think they're Turkish, but they've got Turkish hairdressers there. And you get the zzz, you get the cut, you get the fire on the stick where they whoop, whoop, they waft it across your ears and burn the, burn the ears out. Uh, you can have a, a wet shave, you can have a wet towel over your head. And, you can, and, and the boy that does me, I don't know what his name, he's Bulgarian. Very nice, very nice. He's, I reckon he's about... I think it's about 23, 20, bit young, bit young for me, but nevertheless. And I go every other week now just to see him. <laughs> and anyway, he does this wonderful head massage and he goes, and it really hard, really hard. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I do that again. So he's like this, he goes, and I'm like, <laughs> and sometimes I lean over so I can push myself against his body. <laughs> so I get, that's where I go. And then sometimes I go into Mark Spencer's afterwards and do a bit of shopping in there. And they do this this wonderful potato and mushroom pie in Marks and Spenders. <gasps> it, Marks and Spencer's rather, not Marks and Spenders. Marks and Spenders. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, Ash, what are you saying? The boy that does you isn't this... The boy that does my hair. Don't twist things around, please. Uh, Wayne says they are Turkish, Chris. Well, I, I, I think the owner's Turkish. The boy's from Bulgaria. Oh, you must go, Wayne. It's in Wokenham. I think... I can't remember. It's called Max. M-A-C-S. You must go just to look. <laughs> and then there's another lady actually at the end. She's very good. Now where she, she's from Malaysia. She's from Malaysia, and sometimes she cuts my hair as well. But I don't give her such a big tip. You know, I know this is a bit sexist, but because she's a like, she doesn't get as much tip. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Let's do some messages while we're in this story. Um, blueberries are good for memory. Well, maybe I should have some more, Danny. Dear me. Can you get all the cabbies watching this, please? I am on your side. Destroy Uber drivers. Don't you wish your black cab had a little button and you could just push it and phaser an Uber taxa out of the way? <laughs> anyway, back to the story. We're losing viewers now. I know we are. Back to the story. So um, I said, yes, the blueberries didn't go through properly. I said, and, it, and if, if, he, if sometimes if you scan something, it should go beep. So scan beep. But sometimes it goes do, 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 which means it's gone wrong. Or there's, a, there's another, well, what's the special offer sound? I can't remember that now. There's a special offer sound as well. I'll listen out for it next time. Like if you've got like buy two, get one three or something like that. There's, a, there's another one. Um, yeah, I know that one, Mar I know that one as well, Martin, uh, Wayney. Yeah, the one right on the corner, just as you go into Waitrose, funnily enough, isn't it? I know that one. Um, so I said, so I said, so I took the, I've done my shopping, I took my shopping to thing, and then they, they ask you, did everything scan okay? And you say, no, and you hand over the blueberries, which is what the case is, and then they take the blueberries, they go, beep, with their scanner, and it works! So how does that work? Why does it work for them and not me? I don't get that. 
anyway, so as far as I was concerned, so then they tell you how much it was and you pay your money and off you go. He said, oh, he said, yeah, I can see it was at Wokenham you went last time. He said, well, I can't see anything wrong with this. Just a minute. And he pushes a few buttons and what have you. He said, oh, the scanners aren't working over there. He said, he said, there's four left and none of them are working. That's why it came up. Seek assistance, apparently. It was nothing to do with the fact that I'd had trouble with my blueberries, dear. Nothing to do with it at all. So there we are. <laughs> blueberries, Ash, are very good for you, dear. They're very, they're supposed to be antitoxins or something. So if you're full of crap, it usually gets it out of you. I should have three or four punnets if I were you, Ash. You know, eat nothing but blueberries for the next few weeks and you might have something nice to say for a change. Load of rubbish you talk. Hello, Adam. Adam's with us as well today. Hello, Adam. So that was my Waitrose story. Anyway, it goes on. It goes on. It goes on, right? Let me, let me, let me just uh, seek assistance. I've done that bit. Um, oh, I've got, oh, yes, it's all written down, dear. This is not some cheap old show, dear, where you just turn on and start talking randomly. I know what I'm saying here, you know. It's all worked out. All worked out. If I may continue. Oh, we haven't done, do, has anyone sent emails in? I better check, hadn't I? Sorry, I should have asked about that. Um... Let's have a look. Uh, no, there, I was just going to say there is an email address. If you can't, if you if you're watching on YouTube, or you can't send a Facebook messages for some reason, uh, you can send it as an email. My email address is Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Also, if you're watching a recording of this and you'd rather send an email for future uh, reading out, then it's chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Hello to Jason. Jason's in London. Good evening. Oh, this is lovely. We're all together having a bit of fun. Having a... So it carries on. So I started doing my shopping, you know, bleep, put the little thing in, and I was collecting ingredients, you see ingredients for my cooking tonight and there were all sorts of things that, let me see oh I'm, look at that i was buying oregano oregano um thyme uh basil garlic chili cherry tomatoes basmanic vinegar now this was for something that i haven't made tonight the ara ara, ara biata sauce Arabiata sauce. Now, you... Oh, Shania got searched in a little car park. Did you really? Oh. Oh, dear. She got searched. Hello, Dino. Searched in a little car park. Oh, no. Did you, Shania? Did you not have your rosary on display, dear? You see, in my car, I've got my rosary hanging down from my car mirror. Oh, yes. That stops. They're very good rosaries. It stops speeding fines, parking tickets, anything like that. You know, they try and put it on the cart. They see the rosary and they move on to the next one. Oh, yes. No, no, not any old rosary. Ash. Ash probably thinks he can now just go out and buy a... No, it has to be blessed, dear. Blessed by a priest. But you won't even get in a church where you're Ash. You'll burst into flames, dear. Whoosh! You'll... <laughs> <laughs> You'll just burst into flames, Ash, if you try and get into a church. God's sake. Um, yes, so I'm, I'm going to make our uh, Beata sauce, OK? Usually, I'll buy the little pot, again, in Waitrose, about £2, I think two for £5. And it's very nice. But I wanted to have a go myself. So it was that. I was going to buy the... Um, ingredients for that, which I've now got downstairs. And I also wanted to get the ingredients to buy, um, uh, to make um, mushroom and onion pie, because I'm vegetarian, and I want to start making my own stuff from scratch. I know a few people that do this. Uh, my niece, Tracy, who was with us earlier, she makes all her stuff from, when I say from scratch, from scratch, you know, Nothing is pre-made. No pre-made sauces, nothing like that. She makes it all from scratch herself. And that's it. It's good, isn't it? I, th I think that's brilliant to be able to do that. And I'm hoping to start be able to do that. I also meant to buy the stuff for uh, the mushroom and onion pie. But foolishly, instead of picking up that, I bought a, 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 a totally... I picked up a completely blank piece of paper after I printed out the ingredients. However, I did manage 
to print out the ingredients for a corn cottage pie. Now, I actually made a video a couple of years ago of me making corn cottage pie, and it comes out lovely. Oh, it really does. Um, so I bought all those ingredients in Waitrose, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. If I forget to tell you about my home cooking tonight, then please remind me in about 10 minutes when I finish the Waitrose story. Okay. Oh, it's getting very hot in here. Just a minute. And turn on my egg. Oh, it's probably because the heating's on. Hang on a minute. No, it's not anymore. Very hot in here. Let me turn that... Uh air thing on. Oh, we got air conditioning. Yes, yeah, got everything in here, dear. Air conditioning, everything, everything. Um, so I'm getting these bits and pieces. And as well as the ingredients, I wanted some other bits and pieces. Now, they were doing the Linda McCartney burgers. Buy two, get one free. But last week, I think the greedy bastards, the, the cost-cutting people, probably like Ash, who looks arabata sauce. Uh, no, arabatia sauce. It's Italian, dear. Italian. And you have it on spaghetti or pasta, because I'm a bit of a fan of spaghetti. Only wholemeal spaghetti, mind. None of that nasty, white, trashy stuff. Talking of white trash, Ash, how are you tonight? I hope you're feeling very well. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so there was the burgers, buy two, get one three. Couldn't get any last week because some greedy bastard had bought them all. So I went in there yesterday and I bought them all as well. So I got six and only had to pay for four because it was buy two, get one three, which saves you about two pounds every time you do that. So I've saved four pounds there. And I also wanted the cat food, OK? Because I know the cat food, which is usually four pound fifty for... Is it 12 or something like that? £4.50 for 12. Now, my cat, she likes Felix Doubly Delicious. Have you ever heard of that? No, I didn't think you had. Felix Doubly Delicious cats. Um, OK. Uh, Adam, somewhere on there, on the screen that you're watching, I think it says subscribe. If you click the subscribe, then whenever I go live, um, you should get some sort of notification and that goes for anyone else i think there's a button on there somewhere that says um subscribe so just click that okay and uh you should be able to um uh see that can it can anyone see a subscribe button anywhere i can't see it you see i i don't see it at my end so it should be on there somewhere um Craig has says, I love cottage pie or shepherd's pie. I always check the dates to get my yellow whoops labels. Ah, yes, that's in, that's in Asda, isn't it? We like Asda. Hello, Robert. Arabata. Thank you, Danny. Arabata sauce. Arabata sauce. That's it. Oh, shut up, Ash. Corn tastes like whatever sauce you make with it. It's like meat. Have you ever tasted meat just on its own with nothing on it? It's vile. Corn is the same on its own. Vile. It absorbs the sauce, dear. Not that you do any cooking, do you, Ash? Oh, Christ, I bet you spend your life down Kentucky Fried Chicken and McDonald's. You know, I remember, I've seen your picture, Ash. Looking at the size of you, spend half of your life in McDonald's, do you? I bet you're in there at breakfast, lunch and dinner, aren't you? Oh, God's sake. Anyway, Craig likes, likes that. Uh, I, I managed to get a biggish cottage pie for 30p instead of five pounds. That's the thing to do. Watch out for those bargains if you're a bit short of the pennies, OK? There's nothing wrong with looking for bargains. Hello, Emma. Lovely to see you. Ah, uh, yes. So have you found the subscribe button? Emma says she can see it. If you click that subscribe button, then whenever I'm doing a live show, you'll get a beep beep on your phone, whether you're on Facebook or not, I believe. Thank you, Angela. There's Angela Washington in the US of A, another Barry Manilow supporter. Look at that. There he is, Barry Manilow behind us. Not long now. We're going to see Barry in June. So that's March, April, May. Only four more months till we can go to a Barry Manilow concert. I'm going to tell you something now, boys and girls. Right, are you ready for this? I have two tickets for the O2 in London to see Barry Manilow. One of those... It's untaken. I want to take someone to see that. But I want to take someone, first of all, who I know, and who would really appreciate going to see Barry Manilow. Not someone 
who, oh, oh, it's a free show, I'll go. No, I want someone to, who would really appreciate going to see Barry Manilow. So perhaps you know that person who knows me. Send us a little private message because I still haven't worked out who I'm going to take yet. All right, darlings? Now, where were we? OK, so we're at the cat food now. Uh, and it and it's buy two, get one three. So instead of... No, what was it? No, it was three for £10. Usually four fifty each. So three for £10, which is a saving of uh, £3.50, isn't it? £3.50. Angela, you sit next to me. Do you want to know my ticket number, Angela? One minute, where is it? Oh, no. One minute. Let me if I can find that somewhere. Oh, my God. I think I've been burgled, Angela. Someone has stolen my Barry Manilow tickets. I'll tell you where I'm sitting, Angela. Hang on a minute. Oh, hang on. Hello, Paul. Oh, there they are. That's, there's the Cardiff ones. I've got the Cardiff tickets here. Hang on. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. I'm still here. There we are. Still here. Hello, Paul. Paul was at the karaoke last night, weren't you? Hello, Terry. Terry H is in the house. Now, let me see. That's that one there. First utility. Tickets confirmed. What's that one? Oh, no, that's the car. Cardiff. One minute. Oh, here we are. Here, Angela. I'm in A3. A52. And A53. Is that near you, darling? Block A3. Row A52 and A53. Obviously, I won't be in both rows unless my arse gets that much bigger. I shall have... I shall have one one cheek on each blooming chair, I think. Is that near you? So that's the Barry Manilow, dear. The Barry Manilow. Right. Uh, one second. Let's put those back up there a second. Have we got another message coming through there from Jason? Let's have a look. Seems you've gone off in the world and spent some of that money. What on? What do you mean? What on? What on a Barry Manilow ticket? You, you can't scrimp for Barry Manilow tickets. You've got to get the best one, dear. The best one. Dear me. We're also on YouTube tonight, Terry, if you want to watch us on there. Link's at the top of the Facebook wall, OK? We're going to have to renew the Facebook again in a minute. So where are we? Oh, yes. Where? Oh, by the way, if anyone wants to call in, the phone number is still live. 020-8144-3477, OK? 020 8144 is the phone number. So you're A3, A42, I'm A350. Oh, we're 10 seats away. I wonder who's sitting next to me. Can you try and find out, Ange? I wonder who's sitting next to me. I've got, I've got 52 and 53. 52 and 53. What £6.50 t-shirt are you talking about now? Oh, Christ. That, how old is that picture? Honestly, Jason, who's sending us a message at the moment, has just bought up a picture that is about that. When did I send that? It's, there's probably a date next to it, isn't there? God's sake. Wasn't that December I sent that? Do try and keep up with your messages, Jason, for Christ's sake. Dear me. <laughs> OK, yeah, fair enough, Terry. That's fair enough. So there's my tickets. And in Cardiff, I'm not at the front in Cardiff uh, because I missed out on those. I couldn't get those tickets. I think I'm on. And Ronnie will be coming with me to Cardiff. Let's have a look. No, uh, C56 and 57. Three. Oh, block three, C56, which is a still only three rows back, isn't it? So that's when I'm in uh, Cardiff. So I'm looking forward to that in June. The Barry Manilow concert. Back to the cat food. Back to the cat food. So there, I've told you how much it is. And while I'm standing there, this this very well dressed woman um, was was just a little bit further along, and as she approached the cat food section in Waitrose, and she had two, probably her older children with her, around about twenty five, both of them. Okay. And I, I overheard her talking. She said, now, what cat food? I said, oh, I said, well, these have got a special offer at the moment. Um, three for ten pounds. She said, which ones? Are, oh, it's the doubly delicious. She goes, very posh lady. And she said, <laughs> and, and, and she said, she said, oh, no. She says, my, my cat won't go near that stuff. She, he has to have the single one. So it would be beef or chicken. Or duck. 
Whereas mine, she likes the beef with turkey or the duck with chicken. Do you see what I mean? Apparently her cat will only eat the, the, the single flavours. And she said, she says, you know what my cat goes mad for? And uh, I says, go on. She said, he lo- let me turn it on, I'm getting a bit cold now. He, he loves prawns. I said, oh, really? She says, yes, but not the cheap ones, she says. Um, she, <laughs> she, she said, if you go to the fish counter and go for the tiger prawns, she says, my cat absolutely loves those. I said, oh, really? And she said, yeah, absolutely loves them. Have we got a call coming in now? No? OK. Um, uh Let's just close those unknown calls down. Let's close those unknown. Someone keeps calling in and just putting the phone down, but that's okay. Um, so, so I said, "Oh, do you know I might try my cat on those?" She said, "She said do." She said, "But don't buy the cheap ones." And I said, "I'm not going to buy the cheap ones. I'll look for the tiger ones that you mentioned." So I went over to the fish counter. Now, I'm a bit funny at meat and fish counters. Um, I'm. If you didn't know already, I'm vegetarian. And I don't I don't actually see meat anymore. I just see packets of dead animals and it turns my stomach. I have to rush past. But I went to the fish for my pussy. I don't mind spending a bit of money on my pussy if it makes her happy. I really don't. So I went over there and I'm looking and all I just saw one plate of these prawns. And honestly, it's just this little gray thing curled up on a plate. And I thought, oh, how vile is that? And I looked, and you know, it said the price, and it, it looked it was it looked quite dear. And I thought, well, how many shall I buy? Um, what if she doesn't like them? So I said to this girl behind, I said, could I possibly just buy one prawn? She said, do you only why do you only want one? I said, well, it's for my cat. I want to see if she... you would only hear this in weight shows, wouldn't you? I said, it's for my cat. Um, I want to know whether or not. She likes eating prawns. And the woman says, yeah, she says, that's no problem at all. So she picked up this one prawn and they were quite big. To be fair, they weren't little. They weren't little at all. They were large, fat, great. I mean, they look so horrible. I mean, how can anyone put one of those in their mouth? This blooming horrible looking grey thing there. You know, I mean, it looked like it had been dead for weeks, to be honest. Horrible. Anyway, so um, she picked up this prawn, put it on the weigh-in thing with a bit of plastic around it. I'll, I'll do some uh, uh, some of your messages. Oh, let's do some messages now. Uh, Ash loves venison. Oh, God's sake. Awful. Prawns are disgusting, Terry. They really are. Paul says, I can't go near a pussy. Have you got... Oh, I, well, I can't... You know, if I stroke my pussy, I have to wash my hands and face because I come up in a terrible... I'm allergic to my own cat and all, all animals, actually. If I stroke an animal of any sort, including pussies, then I have to wash my hands straight away, Paul. Because it, it just, it comes up in a terrible, terrible rash. Hello, Danny. Danny's with us as well. Um, and Adam agrees that you shouldn't scrimp on Barry tickets as the last time. It is the last time, darling. It is the last time, actually. Now, does Ronnie know what? That I've been going to Waitrose? Of course he does, Danny. Of course he does. Um... <laughs> So that's it. So she's picked up this prawn, wrapped it in a little bit of plastic, and um, uh, and she pushes the buttons, and this one prawn, one prawn, was 35p. One prawn. And I thought, well, that was a bloody good job I didn't buy a bag of those. How much would that have cost? 35p for one prawn. Now, I did see prawns also also in the frozen food section. OK, but I and I did pick up the bag six hours to thaw the bastards, six hours to four prawns. And I thought she'd be starving hungry by then. So that's why I went to the fresh counter. But 35p for one prawn. Bloody hell. It's a bit expensive, isn't it? Eh, for one prawn. Um 
Okay, look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. Rob, hello, Rob, Shania. And we're just coming to the end of this half hour section on Facebook. So I've got to close and restart that again, okay? Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll do another half an hour, okay, boys and girls? If you're watching on YouTube, there's no break. Just hang on in there. I need to restart the Facebook. Keep an eye on your Facebook, and we should just uh, come back up there in about 20 seconds' time, all right? Stay there. All right, so it's, it is quite annoying, that Facebook thing. But for some reason, most people do watch this show uh, direct on the Facebook Live. Um, it, is, it is more of a pain, really, uh, to be doing it on Facebook Live than it is on YouTube. But there you go. Most people watch it on there, so that's where we need to be as well. I think... Um, here we go again. Three... And it gives me a countdown. Three, two, one. And we're back. Um... I, I think what it is, they like to type the messages which appear directly, Im immediately. You, you hear me talking to people sometimes. And uh, it, it's like instant. Whereas if you're watching on YouTube, you've kind of got to send an email and uh, uh, be done like that, haven't you? Um, so email address. Uh, once again, that email address is chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Anyone else who'd like to call in today? 020. 81443477 okay 02081443477 anything you want to talk about perhaps uh, you've got an experience in a supermarket that you could tell us about have you ever paid 35 pence for one single prawn god anyway so i did buy this prawn okay was it was wrapped up and i scanned it beep, put it in my little bag <clears throat> went to the checkout, no trouble at the checkout. My friend Michelle wasn't on the checkout today, rather disappointingly. It was another lady who was just as efficient, although not quite so friendly, I have to say. I used to buy my apple pie. They used to do these wonderful apple pies in um, in, in Waitrose, like little, little single apple pies, and they've stopped making those for some reason. And I used to buy them from her. Uh, so I went through the checkout, and that was it. Got back in my car and drove out. Hello, Daniel. Daniel's with us. Hello, Dan. Um, got home, and uh, as soon as I went in to come in the door, she started, didn't she, the cat? Meow. Meow. Like that. Meow. All the time. Very similar to some of the noises I've made. Now, if you've been to my karaoke nights, you will occasionally hear me make strange noises. And that meow is very similar to the hello, isn't it? And I think... And I mentioned this on one of the shows this week. I think my cat is trying to communicate with me. What do you think? I honestly think my cat is trying to communicate with me. Listen again. Here's one of my noises. And here's her noise. Meow. Meow. They're not dissimilar, are they? The thing is, I don't know what she's trying to say to me. She does make a bit of a noise sometimes. If her water's about to run out or she wants to go out the back for a poo. She does have a cat litter tray because she was she went through this stage of wetting her bed. Not my bed, fortunately. I wet that, but she doesn't because she don't come into my bedroom, you see. She, she's got a little area in the kitchen, which is all hers, but she kept wetting her bed. So I went out and bought a... Um, well, I didn't have to buy one. I got a cat litter tray, which I haven't used for ages, and went out and bought some of this uh, clay litter. Oh, it's, the stones go everywhere, don't they? The kitchen, every time I go in the kitchen, I see another little stone on the, How does it get there? She must purposely flick... She, one of the things she must do for her own entertainment is flick these little stones out, knowing that when I come out, I'll be a little bit annoyed with her. She must. She must do that. She must flick these stones out of her cat litter tray. That, oh, I can't wait for him to come in and pick that one up as well. And I come back in the kitchen and there's another one there. And she's there pretending to be asleep, curled up. Like that. Anyway, so she used, since I put the litter tray there, she doesn't wet her bed anymore. However, if she wants to go poo, she does like to go out the front. At the back, rather. So she comes out, meow, meow, sits at the back door, open the back door, off she wanders, comes back in a few minutes later. Unless... Unless she hasn't been able to wait, in which case she will use the litter tray. And you know straight away you go in the kitchen. Oh, God. Awful. Awful. Let me do some messages and I'll get on to the prawn. Um, 
Welcome back, everyone. Shania is now watching on YouTube. Hi, Shania. YouTube is it's a is it should be just as good quality on there, my darling. Ben Taylor. It might well have been a gold prawn for thirty five p for one prawn. Just imagine if I'd have bought a bag. That would have come to about five or six quid, wouldn't it? For a cat. Oh, my pussy's worth every penny. Ben, I hope you look after your pussy if you've got one. If not, I hope you get one soon, my darling, all right? Uh, Ash says, Chris, the nightmare customer staff always moan. I'm not a nightmare. I'm a very good customer in Waitrose. I'm very friendly. It's my best mate who moans. Oh, God, Danny. I don't know if you're still with us, Danny Irvin, but don't he moan. He cut the... Wherever we go, wherever we go, he will find something wrong and something to moan about. It's embarrassing. He always complains about something, my mate. Me, I'm just quietly in there, getting on. If there's a problem, that's OK. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Weird. A bit like that. A bit like that, you know. You know, just get on with it. We don't have to stress out about anything. Something goes wrong, so what? Just get on with it. Terry says, does Facebook video have a time limit? Yes, it does, Terry. Half an hour. Half an hour. But at the end of the half hour, you can simply stop and start again another half hour. But you can't go over half an hour. I've, I've found that out, OK? Hello to Joey. Joey's with us as well. Um, <laughs> Ash says, I can guess what your cat is saying. Two words, and the last word is off. No. Well, it's not coming to me. It's not coming. That's not coming to me, that. <laughs> Hello, Jeff. Hello, Matt. David. Alan's still with us. Uh, Wayne, cats like humans normally go to the poo out the back. Yeah, she likes to get... No, no, dear. No, no. When I say she goes to the poo out the back, I mean she goes out the back of the house, out the back door, to an area of the garden that I don't, I don't even know where she goes. I never find it. I never find it. Certainly not amongst my new plants that I bought this week. I bought two magnolia bushes this week and this golden thing. It's like sticks with lots of yellow flowers. I put those in this afternoon while it was raining. Oh, yes. I'm not a fair weather gardener, dear. I'm out there in all, out, all weathers, all weathers. A little bit of rain doesn't stop me, for God's sake. Oh, you make me laugh, these cyclists here. Oh, oh, it's raining. I better get the car out. No, you don't need to do that. Get your wet stuff on. Oh, something in my pocket. What's this? Whistle and flute. Oh, it's new. I don't know what that... What is that? That must have come with the jacket. <laughs> I've worn this a load of times. I've never, look, whistle and flute, my Ted Baker jacket. I don't know what that is. Throw that away. <clears throat> yes, she always, she always goes out the back. Um, hello, Joey and Stacey. Stacey's with us as well, is she? That's it. Oh, hang on a minute. Shania says, I thought I was good customer in Little until Wednesday. I can't believe they actually searched your car. Are you serious, Shania? I bet your dad had something to say about that. Why did they search your car? What was it? Tell us. More. Shania, you couldn't ring us, could you? I'm dying to talk to you about that. Do ask the customer, the, the, the bill payer's permission before you ring in. <laughs> your dad. Vectis, can we ring in and talk? I want to talk about that, please. Wayne says, I love magnolia trees. I've got a purple one. Oh, I like, I like the colour purple. I do like the colour purple. Uh, mine are white ones, and I chose fragrant ones. I think, I think I've missed the flowering this year, so I'm going to have to wait next year for that. Um, Ash says, I bet Chris thinks it's completely acceptable to leave cat poo all over the yard. Certainly not. No, they hide it. Cats hide it. You never find the cat. Well, rarely you find the cat poo. It's dogs. Oh, it's all over the place. Gardens and people's houses. Oh, it's vile dog poo. And it's thick and horrible, isn't it? Oh, no. No. Shania had her back searched. Oh, Shania, please ring in, dear. I've got to talk to you about that. 0208144377 is the number. 0208144377. Anyone else want to have a chat tonight? So, I emptied my shopping. <clears throat> And before I entered my shopping, the first thing I plucked out of my bag, plucked, I said with a P, plucked out of my bag was the 35 pence prawn. And I took, I got a plate and I took this thing out of the plate and I, I put it on the, I didn't touch it. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't be touching fish. Oh, you stink of it then, didn't you? Oh, so I, I gently coaxed it. 
<laughs> with a fork onto this plate. And then I put the fork into the dish into my new dishwasher, which still smells. New dishwashers, I've noticed, they smell like new cars. Oh, it's wonderful. And it's so quiet. It's ever so quiet, my new dishwasher. Not like the old one. That was a bit noisy. You you barely know it was on. It goes... As the water squirts into it and fires off all that dried-on food and scum. Disgusting. So I coax this, this porn out and I put it down and she kept meh and then she walks over to it. Has a little sniff around it. Sits down and looks at me. I thought, oh no, she don't like it. And then I looked at it and I thought, well maybe I should cut it off for her. Cut it up for her rather. Shania, you need to ring me, darling. I need to talk to you about this, Shania. Where's your dad? Has your dad gone? I'd be very disappointed if I find out your dad's not listening to the rest of this programme. Very disappointed. Don't tell me you just popped on at the first five minutes and then disappeared. That's just rude. Rude. So I picked up the plate again and then I got one of my sharp knives that I stole some years ago at a venue that I worked at. Lovely knives they are. And uh, it's quite a few years ago now. Ah, oh, nephew Jimmy Butler's back. He's been to a football match. He's been to see Chelsea play. No, I didn't cook the... No, I didn't cook it. No, no. Uh, Wendy says, Chris, did you... You did cook the prawn first, didn't you? When they are cooked, they go pink. Grey, then they're undercooked. No, I didn't cook it. No, should I have cooked it first? <laughs> should I have cooked it first, then? Well, anyway, so I picked up this prawn and I got a sharp knife and I cut it into about three pieces and put it back down. Cat got up again, walked over to the plate. I, th I think she might have given it a little li lick. She might have given it a little lick and then sat down and looked at me again. I thought, oh, she don't like it. What bloody good, jo good job I didn't buy a bag of them then. 35p for one prawn. Good job I didn't buy a bag of prawns. God's sake. So she didn't want it. So I put it outside. Now, if she doesn't eat food, OK, I can't stand throwing away food, whether it's human food or cat food. So I then pick up her bowl and I put it outside and it always goes. Something is out there. Eating the food. So once again, I put the prawn outside, put it outside, close the door. Ten minutes later, open the door. It was gone. Something ate it. How ungrateful can my pussy be? There I am, putting stuff down for it to munch in its little pussy face. And she walks off. So, of course, I went straight back there, you know, got out one of the cheap, cheap, I say cheap, you know, cheap, cheap Felix things, doubly delicious. Put that down. She's happy as a sandbag. Eating it all up. Eating it all up. Angela says, I was thinking the same. If it smells like people food, the cat wants it more. Ah, is that what it is? So I should have cooked that. I don't know how to cook a prawn. Can you microwave them? How long does that need to go in the microwave for? <laughs> that must be what it is. But the thing is, in, in the wild, OK, cats in the wild, as in lions and tigers and things like that, that, you know, someone doesn't come and cook along a buffalo, do they? You know what I mean? So this this tiger goes running up to this buffalo. And what what are those things with the horns? Not goats. Antelopes. They don't you know that they don't sort of you know kill the antelope, and then some human comes along behind and then picks up the antelope, shoves it in an oven for half an hour, puts it, chops it up, and gives it to the dog. No, they don't do that, do they? Cats. They kill that kill that kill the antelope and eat it there and then. So that's why why I think. Perhaps you don't need to cook this stuff. Is it midnight? I just heard my clock go... Bzzz. Did you hear that? Did you hear my clock go... Bzzz? <laughs> but maybe I should have cooked the prawn. I don't know. Can you microwave prawns? Someone answer me that, please. Um, let's have a look. See if anyone's answered that. Terry says maybe she didn't want it because it wasn't cooked. Yeah. No, not in a microwave. Saute it. Well, what's that then? Is, it, is that boiling? I don't know what a saute is. Is that... 
<laughs> is that when you put it in a in a frying pan and fry it a little bit? I think that's what saute is, isn't it? Like saute potatoes. Yes, that's it, isn't it? You put it in a frying pan and, and fry it a little bit. Why don't you just say why don't they just say fry then? What is saute? What's the difference between saute and frying? Is there any difference at all? So that was my experience at Waitrose and the story of the unwanted. See, that prawn laid down its life for no reason at all. The cat walked away. How bloody ungrateful can you be? 35 pence for one prawn. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. <laughs> ah, well, Angela, I do know how to cook because tonight I have made vegetarian corn cottage pie. Thank you very much. Now, the thing is, when I do, by the way, anyone want to call in with a no call, one phone call tonight, one one abandoned phone call, someone from an unknown number who's now called one, two, three, four, five, six. One minute. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve times an unknown for thirteen, that fourteen. 15, 15 times we've had someone from an unknown phone and, and put the phone down. But you wouldn't know that, would you? Because I just click a button and it disappears. They do it to try and annoy you, but it doesn't, doesn't really throw me off. Oh, um, Wayne says, boil a kettle and leave it in the hot water until it's gone pink. Oh, is it as easy as that? Oh, I'm not putting it in the kettle, Wayne. I'm not putting a dead shrimp in my... Oh, the tea will never taste the same again. Oh, it'd be fishy, wouldn't it? Fishy tea. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Jerry says, I think you should do your live show much more. Only when I got time, dear. Only when I got time. I quite like the fact that I'm no longer scheduled. Do you know what I mean? I haven't got to sit somewhere at 11 o'clock on the same day at the same time everywhere. I like to, you know, oh, I fancy doing a show later. Then I put a little thing on live show at 10 o'clock and here we are. So that, that's how we're doing it. We'll do a few more of these. We'll do a few more of these. Um, <clears throat> that is the story of the unwanted brawn. Poor little thing. I still think the, the grey thing just lay in there like that. Oh, pour the hot water into a jug. What, and then just drop the prawn in there and it'll go pink. Are they not pink in the sea then? What colour are prawns when they're floating around in the sea? I thought they were plink. I was quite shocked when I saw this grey thing there. I thought, am I going to look like that when I'm dead? Grey and white. I mean, I would like a little bit of a tan, really. Huh? <laughs> Mind you, I said to someone the other day, oh, you're, you've got a funny tan, it's a bit yellow. He said, yeah, I've got yellow liver failure and walked off. <laughs> Oh, Terry, I know, darling. Anyway, so that's my story uh, of the prawn. So the corn cottage pie, so I've made that tonight. Now, the only thing is when I'm cooking, I'm a bit messy. When I say messy, there's not like bits of food all over the place. It's just like, um, how can I put this? Uh, so say I'm cutting up a potato, so it'll be a potato, which I'll cut up on a plate. That'd be there. No, right, where's the carrot? I don't know where I put the carrot. Oh, they're under there. Out come the carrot. I take one carrot and put the packet on there. What else do I want? Oh, I want this, you know, soy sauce. And I'm looking around for the bottle. Oh, it's still in the carrier bag. See, I don't get everything out ready. <clears throat> I know my brother-in-law, he does some videos. And when he does, um, he does cooking videos. And everything's out. I think he spends time getting it all ready, you know. The lights are all right and... And like everything's out on the table, laid out, every, you know, there's the salt, there's the pepper. The, it's all there ready. Whereas me. Good evening, Peter. There's my friend Peter. Jeremy Corbyn lookalike. It's our Peter who won a karaoke competition, didn't you, this week? At another venue. Naughty Peter. I expect a visit from you Monday, please. In Central Station, if you don't mind, Peter. <laughs> anyway so you see what i mean whereas his stuff is all set out and it's all ready to go me i, I just can't, i can't do that for some reason now all oh, right i'm looking for the salt now where have i put the salt and it's a bit like that and i i kind of get i get halfway through cooking something and then I, I start thinking, you know, this, this isn't, this is, this is just not working. It's awful, awful. 
and I had what I had on. I had the the carrots and the onions in a saucepan with a bit of olive oil, trying to soften them up. And then it said, "Add this water and add this." And I'm getting, I'm getting all over the place. Oh no, what's next? What then? And then you know, as it's coming towards all coming together, so I put the water in now and the vegetable stock and all that. Yes, I know, Peter. Your name has been sent to me. Peter. He's been to another venue, you naughty boy. What song did you ring with? Was it on the radio? Peter sings on the radio. And one of my favourite songs of all time. Young hearts run free. Don't you? Yes. What song did you win with, Peter? We want to know. <laughs> um, and now I've got the I've got the vegetable stock in there. And the corn's gone in. And the, the saucepan, I, I didn't really use a big enough pan. And it's almost full to the top, minus that. So not much room for bubbling. Or as it's known with our female people and people that know cooking, simmering, simmering. Anyway, it's simmering away. And suddenly the smell's coming up. And now it's all turned brown. It's gone brown. I've put me, put me tomato puree in. I've put me soy sauce in. And the smell's coming up. I thought, oh, yes, this is working. And the smell was beautiful anyway. So I simmered it for five minutes, then put it in my, um, uh, not Tupperware, what are they called? Glass things. Uh, glass dish. Uh, Pyrex. I put it in my Pyrex dishes. Okay. And um, put it in the oven and half it. I, 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 didn't, I didn't actually put mashed up potato. I put sliced potato. So I think that makes it a hot pot and not a shepherd's pie, but it doesn't matter. And then half hour later, I opened it and the, it was all, it had all gone brown on the top and I, and I ate it. It was del absolutely delicious. And my friend's coming around tomorrow for dinner as well. Ronnie's coming around. Now, you've got to be so careful because he moans. He moans about the food. He moans, oh, it's too spicy. Or so it doesn't, he hates spice. So all I've got in there is a bit of soy sauce and not much of that and, um, and a bit of pepper. I, don't, I never add salt. It was lovely, Shania. Oh. <gasps> It was absolutely... Of course, I, had, I couldn't move after I've had that. And the thing is, I don't add salt or sugar to anything, ever. There's no salt in the potatoes. No, I never add salt and sugar to anything. Now, you buy this stuff ready-made, and it is full of salt. Always full of it. It says on there, you know, two grams of salt. Have you seen how much salt there is in a bag of crisps? <gasps> it's frightening. <laughs> so by... Cooking stuff yourself, you can save all this salt and sugar that we're, we're apparently not supposed to be eating. As I said about an hour ago, you know, there's a couple of people I know who don't, uh, who do cook from scratch. One of them is my niece, Tracy. She does everything from scratch. Even, um, uh, I, I think the two children, how old is, I don't know how old Emily is now, but I think she, she's off, I think she's off the, they're on the normal food now. But even with baby food, she never bought packets of baby food, like Heinz or anything like that. No, she made it all from scratch. And I'm convinced that that's so much better for the little ones, let alone us, to be able to do that. And another friend of mine, Jess, now she works behind the bar generally on Tuesday nights at the karaoke, uh, where I do karaoke every Tuesday night at the Golden Lion in Camden Town. Jess works behind the bar there, and she also does everything by scratch. Funny thing is, she's now going out with one of the customers, James, who's a, he's a lovely fella. And they've been going out a few weeks now, and I think he's moved in with her. And um, I, he came up and said, oh, can I sing a song tonight, Chris? I said, I'm really good. He's such a nice blo bloke. He really is. And I get on very well with him. And um, he said, uh, uh, asked, asked to sing a song. And I said to him, you've lost a bit of weight, haven't you? Yeah, and we're, we're joking now, you know, new girlfriend, boyfriend, lots of exercise. Do you know what I mean? We're joking about it. And I said to Jess, how has he managed to lose all that weight? She said, she said I think it's because... Before, and he wasn't fat. He weren't, he weren't fat like I am, okay? He weren't fat. Um, he said, she says, I think it's because I cooked from scratch and he was just buying pre-made meals. And I think she's got a point there. I think she's got a point there. So that's Jess in the Golden Lion. She's a lovely, lovely girl. And that's um, probably another reason... If you've got, and I know, I know you're going to say, oh, I haven't got the time to cook. I know you're saying that. 
But actually, it doesn't take as long as you think. It really doesn't. I knocked that up 45 minutes from, from doing the first thing to taking it out of the oven and eating it. I would say 45 minutes. Yeah, you can go out and get something and stick it in a microwave. Bing! 10 minutes, it's done. Don't taste anything like what I made today. It tastes all right. But it didn't taste anything like what I made today. And I really want to start cooking everything from scratch. Really want to do that. And I enjoy it. As you take great pride in pulling something out of the oven that you have just made. And there it is in front. You have just created that with bits. And it's not hard. You can, any recipe you want at all, you can just get it. Print it off the internet. Here's the here's the um, here's the one for our, our batter sauce. Look, there it is. There, look. Can you see that? There it is. Step by step, just follow it. Follow it to the letter. I must admit, I don't exactly measure stuff out exactly. I don't always measure stuff out, but I want to do that. And you know, you can still save time doing it. For example, today I've made two. So that was today's dinner and mine and my mate's dinner tomorrow when he comes round. But I could quite easily have made four, six or eight even by using a big pot, shoving it all in the oven, let it cool down, stick it in the freezer. And it really does taste better than, than even, 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 even the best stuff you can buy in a supermarket, you know. And I know like you've got the Tesco Finest and the Waitrose Exclusive and the Sainsbury's Best Of. They're all very nice, but they're never, ever going to taste as good as the stuff you've just pulled out of the oven yourself. They really won't. Uh, Shania says, I'm learning to cook slowly. Take your time, Shania. It's easy. Choose something and just do it. Peter says, it's very easy and much, so much nicer to cook. Oh, it is. Shania says, I might start cooking from scratch and not go to Lidl to get the ingredients. It doesn't matter where the ingredients come from, Shania. It really doesn't. All ingredients is roughly the same. A carrot's a carrot, isn't it? Doesn't make any difference where you get the ingredients from. Uh, Jason says you should go to Waitrose and get free coffee every day. Uh, whenever I go in there, I get my free cup of tea, yes. But you have to do shopping as well, Jason. You can't just walk in and have a free cup of tea, dear. All right? Anyone else want to call in quickly now? Because we're going to finish off very shortly now, boys and girls. Um... Peter, Peter won with On the Radio. Yeah, that's another song he does very well. Summertime on the radio, radio, radio. You, you know um, you know, Roy does that one now, don't you, Peter? Oh, hush my mouth. Maybe I shouldn't have told you that, dear. Call in quickly if you want to make a phone call now. 020 8144 okay? Um, Terry says, sounds nice apart from using corn. Horrible stuff. You wouldn't even know the difference, Terry. Have you tried it? Try making some sort of uh, uh, pie or something with corn, OK? Peter says, I believe a shepherd's pie is with lamb and a cottage pie with beef. Yeah, you're right, Peter. I was using corn because I'm vegetarian. But uh, the difference between a shepherd's or cottage pie and a hot pot, I think, is the potato on the top. So I used, instead of using mashed potato, I just slice, because I don't peel potatoes. I never peel potatoes. I just slice, I wash them, and then I slice them, and I just put the sliced potatoes on the top there, Peter. All right. <clears throat> Uh, Shania doesn't want to be searched. Shania got searched. Searched. Did an alarm go off? There? That is shocking. I bet your dad went down and had a word, didn't he? That's outrageous, isn't it? Anyway, I think we're going to wrap up there, boys and girls. I'm going to have a cup of tea, I think. And uh, I might even have a little bit of ice cream. Have I got any more chocolate things left? No, I haven't. Oh, no, no more chocolate, dear. No more chocolate, not for Lent. <laughs> OK, so we're going to finish up there. Uh, Roy, Roy, Roy does. Oh, Roy's just fantastic. Roy, let me tell you, boys and girls, is one of our karaoke singers. Um, you might have been watching some of our live streams. I've started live streaming now from some of our karaoke nights. It is all very dependent, though, on how good either how good the Wi-Fi is at the venue or how much data I've got left on my 4G. I've got no data left on the 4G because I've been using that to stream the um, karaoke. So you might not see that uh, for a few nights now and, and until that recharges again, OK? 
She's set off alarms everywhere. Anyway, thank you very much, boys and girls. It's been an absolute pleasure. Mother's Day tomorrow. Hope you haven't forgotten. Get your mum something very nice. And I think I might... Uh, I'll probably do a little recorded show tomorrow. We'll sing Mother of Mine if I can uh, on, on the show tomorrow, OK? Have a lovely evening and thank you very, very much for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure this evening. All right, bye-bye now. <laughs>